Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's Nosy Joe here. It's the new year. It's after the holidays. We're going to get out here in the garage and make some progress. I'm tired of watching Netflix, watching Cobra Kai. I tell you what, that show's really limited my uh, vocabulary and all my motivations. All I want to do now is just, I guess, be badass. Also, I forgot I want to mention uh, I have a guest here today, um, Joey or Johnny Lawrence. What's up? Pussy. Uh, it's going to help me, kind of a sensei, and help me get this thing done. So let's talk about why I uh, chose these Fox Shocks. Well, I, I guess because they're they're badass, I guess. I, I don't know any other adjectives after watching Cobra Kai. Two cobras in a jungle. One kills a crippled monkey, the other kills a fox. Which one do you want to be? I really can't think of any uh, better way of putting it there, Johnny, so um, thanks. These are the IFP QSRs, um, which is a 13 inch with the heavier duty spring, which is made for two up. And so I thought that would be good for the wife and I to ride together. And um, I had already done the front suspension with progressive springs and the heavier oil. And so the old technology air shocks, although they've been good and reliable, I just think think weren't matching the uh, ride and handling quality of the fronts. So just trying to get the fronts up to better, or get, try to get the rears up to better standards, um, same as the fronts, and hopefully get good ride and good handling uh, for both of us. Let's get these rear shocks off and get started. Okay, so these things are real easy to put on. Is it because they're badass? You just got your three quarter inch bolts here. I used a extension on my ratchet to get past the exhaust and everything. And next thing you're supposed to do is set the preload using this chart here. So I use the one for the heavy duty touring setup and you know you guys set that depending on your luggage and your passenger and everything so the highest setting is five and i just use the supplied fox wrench and you just crank this down until you see a line here i don't know if that's going to be real visible but i, I, I i'm going to set this on four for starters not the full on uh, preload and then for rebound it's just a three position you're either lightweight medium or heavy rebound or firm i should say firm medium and soft are probably better descriptors there i'm just gonna start out here in the middle so uh, i'm gonna set mine on four preload and middle position rebound to take my test ride it doesn't matter if you're a loser, a freak, or a nerd. All that matters is that you become badass. Alrighty. We'll see how it goes. So what I was going with, with the Fox Shocks is a, a little less harshness, uh, a little more comfort, uh, along with that performance. Uh, but the comfort, you know, be well, well appreciated. Pain does not exist in this dojo. Well, I mean, like for my wife, not not for me. You know, I, I don't need comfort. Women shouldn't even be on a motorcycle. Why? For the same reason they're not in the army. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, but these things are cool, man. I mean, they got the preload setting and the little adjustable knob on them, and they got a fox on them right there. They're cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Really? I'm joking, it sucks. Well, anyway, Johnny, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. Um, I think they're cool. And we'll finish up setting the uh, droop on them once I get the bike on the ground and uh, take her for a test ride. And the, the proper final setting of these, depending on, you know, how much luggage and how much stuff you're carrying passenger-wise, is, again, this is the 13-inch standard height shock. So the idea is, is when I sit on the bike, and the passenger does too, everything's loaded down. That instead of measuring from 13, 13 inches from here to here, that it measures 12. So that's the droop setting on it. So all these charts and settings are just kind of, 
you know, guidelines. But in the bottom end, if this is set up right, this should compress one inch down to 12 inches. And if it's not, if it's too much, if it's compressing more, I need more uh, spring preload. And if it's not compressing enough, I need to back off a little bit. So that's the true setting on how you do these things. Hey, Johnny, maybe after the uh, test ride, we can go out and do something real badass, like, you know, go get some beer or something. Harley's and beer, that's badass, right? All right, I'll have a course banquet for me and a Shirley Temple for the lady. Right away, I can tell just a responsiveness difference. It's like I went from kind of Cadillac to Corvette. This is always a pretty good bump here. I'm going to hit it at 60. Not too bad. My butt came off the seat a little bit. Now, this is the saddle when I'm riding, so it didn't have much cushion to it compared to my hammock. Yeah, I think uh, I don't have my saddlebags on, so that adds probably, with the stuff in them, 20 to 30 pounds. So honestly, I think I'm just going to leave them right there and ride it for a bit and see how she does. Just as they are, with kind of the out-of-the-box settings, now the preload is higher than me because I think I set it on four which would be like for uh, someone that weighs 300 pounds but kind of what I was wanting to avoid was changing it every time my wife gets on so I, I thought that kind of midway setting would be a good starting point I want to hit that bridge hard whoa but I lost it. So this is, uh, I can pass here. All right, now I'm going about 70. i uh, slow down here. This bump here at the bottom, you never want to hit above about 40 in a car. And that's doable. I had it at about 60, 65. So for me, my initial impressions here is it's just a lot more responsive, but yet not firm. I mean, not harsh. I'd say it's firm, but not harsh. And the responsiveness of the shock is just there. Again, it's like going from Cadillac with the air shocks to Corvette. And that's with the medium rebound setting. And admittedly a little high on the uh, preload because I don't weigh 320 or whatever it is. Well, anyway. I'll uh, check back in with you guys once I get some serious miles on them. I have to cut this short and go to work anyway. And uh, I'll have a, I'll at least address it in a future video as far as how they're doing and if I've had to change the uh, initial settings I used at all. All right. Well, thank everybody for watching. Thank Joey, I mean Johnny Lawrence, for uh, being here today. It's been a while since I've had a guest. So, the last guest I had was uh, Andy or Adam, at Andy Sandoval. He was here on my show, or on my vault. So it was good to have somebody else come and give me some instruction, some help some opinion on how I can become more badass and uh, here's to all you moto vloggers out there to being more badass in 2021 later hey Johnny I just noticed a couple really badass things on these Fox shocks man it's got a hash brown right here hash brown ride Fox 
And I think this is one of those websites on the internet. Probably should check it out. Heard there's a lot of babes there. Later.